Hey guys, it's Rec here again, and today I'm going to be showing two new features, two new RFID features, and it's fresh from the oven. I just finished developing those functionalities, and they are the um, scanning mode, so you can scan multiple tags, and writing custom UID. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, first, uh, what is the difference between reading a tag and scanning tags? So let me take one here. So while reading a tag, you can only read one tag at a time. So for example, here, um, I just uh, read this one here. And if I want to take another one and read, it will override the data. Also, it takes longer because reading um, the read mode, it tries to read all data blocks from the tag. So for example, in this case, a MyFair 1K, uh, it's 64 uh, blocks with 16 bytes each. So it will try to read all of the data, the data blocks. So if we want to save the dump or uh, write the data to another tag, it has all the required data. While the scanning mode is much faster, so let me go to scan tags. The scanning mode is much faster and it will only get the ID of the tags that it finds. So let me put a bunch of tags here and let me take the reader and I can just pass over the tags and it will grab all the UID. So I have seven, it will print the last five tags. So I have seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I got all of the UIDs. And once I change the mode here, for example, let me go back to read tag. It will save the scan tags to a file so let's go to uh, others SD card Bruce or FID I have the scans folder and the last one is the scan result one so if I open and view file I have I have here um, all of the UIDs so I can just um, check the file and grab one here. So for example, I have the 00112233. We can go back here. Let me go back to RFID. And let's go to the next functionality. So I can take one tag here. Let me check this one. This is the 00112233. And I want to change the UID of this tag. So I can clone it to another tag, but I can write custom UID. So I need to first read the tag because it will check the type of the tag and the size of the UID because it can be like four bytes or seven bytes, depending on the type of the tag. So I need to scan the tag first and then go to custom UID. It will ask me to type the UID that I want. So for example, I want 9988877. And if I put like an invalid UID, it will say invalid UID. So let me read again and custom UID. So 9988776. You can see that once it gets to the uh, size of the UID, it cannot type anything anymore. So I have to type all of the digits. Once I press OK, it will go to the clone mode with this new UID 9988777766. And if I put the tag here, now it's the, uh, it, it, the UID is changed. Let's check. Okay, now it's 9988 Okay guys, 
and you can use both functionalities combined. So you can scan multiple tags and check the, uh, the scan result file. And if you want to like uh, emulate uh, one of the scanned tags, you can just grab the UID later and go to custom UID and write this new UID to a tag that you have. Okay, thank you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.